once it's off. Damn, I gotta, I gotta stop it here. Man, Hurston looks beautiful. Like it looks like a completely different place. Look at it, man. Man, I think Hurston is the next planet that's gonna get the cloud tech. Allowing for an increase in simulation data and better shaping than we had previously. Now at this point, it's still too early. It is, it is gorgeous, man. It is gorgeous. The clouds are looking so good, man. They're looking so, so good. You can, you can tell the depth of the clouds too. It's really cool. So cool, man. That, the team man, Pyro looks beautiful, man. Pyro looks beautiful. Like there, with, with this skybox, I think it's perfect for Pyro. It looks, it's gonna look really cool, man. It's gonna look really cool. And the fact that uh, they're going with that red hue gives you that uh, feeling of that danger that you're in a place where it's a little lawless, you know? I think it's really good. I think it's good. It looks, this this looks gorgeous, man, to be honest. What planet is this? I'm definitely gonna visit this place. Man, bro. Do you guys have any idea how big the, the uh, bangle is? The bangle is a monster. It's literally a flying city. And look at it compared to this jump gate. Like this just gives you the scale of how massive these things are. So this looks like it's one of the large jump gates for sure. If a, a bangle can fit through like this. That's crazy, man. This is crazy. Wells. Wow. And new garden modules. Garden you know it's the module. future because of hexagons. Man, this I can't wait, man. Like base building, like all this stuff is gonna all go into play with base building, man. Like, I, I'm really curious to see how deep they're really going to go with this, right? The fact that they mentioned wells. I'm not sure if there'll be a mechanic that will require wells. But if they do go that in-depth with it, that's going to be really cool. You know? Like, when I see this stuff, it really gets me excited for, um, number one, pyro and also base building, man. I can't wait until we could actually go out to, you know other systems and build bases. I think that's going to be a really cool thing to do. One of the, thing, one of the things I'm hoping for is for the derelict outposts, right? Like I want to, once they have it implemented, when they, once they have it in, I really want to be able to go there and explore and actually find really cool loot, man. I really hope that that's what they do. Um, I'm really, I'm really uh, excited about it. Like, I want to be able to go to an outpost for the first time and just randomly just find, like, a really unique item or a rare item or, like, a stash that somebody's keeping there that has some really interesting loot in it, you know? I want to be able to just go out and explore and have that expectation that, you know, I could run into something and find, a, like, something very valuable in these um, derelict locations, you know? And uh, that's one of the things that I'm excited about once they get uh, the, the, these, these things out, man. Stories and missions to be told across Pyro's planets and moons. All right, so that seems to be it, man. Yeah, man, so uh, that's, that's, uh, that is uh, pretty much Inside Star Citizen. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Leave a like as well. All right, I will see you on the next one.